What's up guys? Okay, let's continue with all the news regarding to Real Madrid, but now we are going to start off with Al Khalifi. And the reason for that is because um, a couple days ago, a attorney from Qatar um, showed up in a press conference in Paris, right? And he was claiming that he had the document signed by the um, uh, businessman that was put in jail allegedly by under the order of Al Khalifi. That document, of course, is proven or might be proven. Al Khalifi um, took a decision, a, I mean, a very corrupted and illegal decision to put in jail to someone innocent. I mean, in jail, right? So, what does that mean? I mean, it is pretty obvious this is something illegal, right? The problem is all this thing happened in Qatar it didn't happen in France right so the chances for him to be in jail or uh, taken to the court or a Khalifi are not so high but of course the fact that the attorney showed up in France instead of Qatar or any other country it is because he really wants to claim in front of the whole world that this person, Al Khalifi, is a very corrupted and, and bad person, right? And um, he should be, I'm not going to say in jail, right? But he should be taken to court, right? To respond about a bunch of issues, right? And, and topics and, and stuff. And um, to me, although he might not be taken to court in France, the fact that now everybody um, in the Western world knows the kind of person that he is or the kind of things that he does in Qatar um, will put him in the spotlight so he will be or feel forced to step out from his charge right now or do something. I mean, there's no way for us to assume that this guy will um, keep being the president of PSG Whereas there's a document, a person or a bunch of people in Qatar claiming this guy is, um, is a bad guy, is a bad person and, and is able to do super bad things to other people in Qatar, right? I mean, super illegal things and there's no way for us to accept that, right? So in somehow the attorney, what he was looking for, it was just that, to create a kind of, you know, um, opinion among the Western people to say, hey, this guy, how is it possible that this guy is leading one of the most important clubs in the world? Not only in France, right? But in the world. And all this thing comes um, alongside the celebration of the World Cup in Qatar, who, I mean, which has been as well under the spotlight all over the world. And a lot of countries are not quite sure about the, not the legality, not the, uh, um, the viability, but the thing is, Morally wise, how is the possible that, how is the possible that we are going to celebrate a World Cup right in a country like that with no human rights uh, watch or something like that? So I don't know, man. But this guy Al Khalifi right now is, I mean, he's being caught red-handed, right? And there's no escape, there's no exit for him, there's no way out for him. He will have to respond at some point he will have to respond about that so let's see what happens but the situation in PSG right now to me is getting worse and worse and worse okay